Hello friends, in today's class we will see how to assign values to structure members or how to give values to structure members. As I already told, in the structure body, whatever the uh, uh, variables we write there, they are not actually variables. We should not call them as variables. They are members, members of that structure. Okay, in that members of structure, they are not variables and uh, suppose if uh, we want to convert them or we, we want to make them as variables then we have to link or connect them with the structure variables uh, in previous class already we have seen how to declare the structure how to declare the structure variables inside the structure body uh, whatever we write the data type and member one data type two member two data type three member three see those member one member two member three are members of that structure they are not variables of that structure at last after closing the body of a structure we write once again that struct keyword and structure name and we list the uh, variables of that structures uh, separated by comma and at last we put the semicolon this is how we usually declare the structure and the structure variables but inside the body of structure the uh, list whatever we had written the, those are not variables those are members if we want to convert them uh, or uh, con uh, uh, we want to make them as a uh, variables then we we have to link those members with the structure variables now let us see how to link or how to connect them with the structure variables um, once we link or connect the structure members with the structure variable we can assign now we are able to give values or we are able to assign values to uh, those uh, variables uh, using a dot operator or a period operator uh, we can link the members with the structure variables for example here scanf is a scanf percentages it means that we are going to read one uh, string variable that is engineering book dot title you can observe in our previous example we declared this engineering book as a structure variable okay but here title title was there no? that title was not a variable it was a member of a structure so suppose if i want to convert this member of a structure as a variable then i have to link this member of structure with structure variable engineering book so this is a member of a structure and this one is structure variable so once we connect or link this structure member with the structure variable with the help of dot operator then this complete part or complete thing is called as structure variable okay structure variable it means we have converted this structure member into structure variable uh, then scan of percentages suppose here also we are going to read one uh, string that is author author of a book which particular book which particular book we are not uh, reading or uh, uh, taking the value for uh, author of uh, diploma book we are uh, reading or taking the value for author of engineering book so engineering book is one variable structure variable and the author is a member structure member once this structure member is connected or linked with the structure variable with the help of this dot operator then this complete thing will become a variable like this engineering dot title is a variable engineering book dot author is a one variable engineering book dot publisher is also variable engineering dot, uh, engineering book dot edition is a variable uh, engineering book dot price is also a variable this last two in these last two examples these two variables are what type of variables these are integer variables because of that only here we have we have written format specifier as percentage d and here also we have written 
format format specifier as percentage d but here we had written percentage s since here we are reading a string variable and since we are reading a string variable here we should not use ampersand here also we should not use that address operator ampersand and here also we should not use ampersand but here we are reading integer variable so we should use ampersand that is address operator and here also we should use address operator ampersand so apart from this one there is one more uh, way is there or one more method is there uh, to assign the values to these uh, structure uh, uh, variables or structure members so this one is by using a scanf function standard input function alternative method is we can all assign these values to variables of uh, struct uh, that book struct book okay struct book by using a string copy function also so in uh, uh, third module already we have seen uh, how to uh, use a string copy function string copy strcpy is a string handling function or string manipulation function okay so to use this string handling function or string manipulation function we must use header file hash include stdio.h in, in our program okay so this is another method that is how to assign values to variables uh, variables of uh, which structure struct book okay it may be engineering book or it may be diploma book okay to assign this one what we are using here we are using one string copy function that is a string handling function and uh, sometimes if uh, we are not uh, assigning uh, string values we are assigning uh, integer values or any other values then we can use uh, assignment uh, uh, operator also or assignment statement also so here i have written book uh, by using string copy function strcpy and uh, assignment statement but we must uh, include the header file that is std uh, uh, string dot h header file stdio dot not h uh, upper, uh, along with stdio dot h we should uh, include this header file also that is string dot h because in this header file only all string manipulation functions or string handling functions are defined uh, string handling functions or string manipulation functions like uh, string copy string concatenation string uh, compare so these all functions are defined in this header file string dot h to use these uh, string handling functions we must include this uh, string dot h header file in in our program okay let us see some examples how we have to uh, use a string copy function to assign the values to string members so here strcpy function is a string function it's a syntax is also here this is a uh, string one and this is a string two okay here whatever the value is there that is a pcd so this value will be assigned to this one okay so here in this place whatever we have written this string one is nothing but it is a variable it is how it is a variable actually it is title is a string member it is a structure member it is and engineering book is a structure variable when we connect or link this structure member with this structure variable with the help of dot operator this complete part is called as a variable this complete part is a variable and the value of this variable is pcd for example it is a string so in double quotes i have written that pcd this value will be assigned to this variable okay that that is a string okay. so second example is also engineering book dot author so here author is nothing but it is a type of string uh, string type of value so this string will be assigned to this variable with the help of string copy function and the third one is also we want to enter suppose engineering book publisher engineering book publisher value then this uh, engineering underscore book dot publisher completely is a variable the value of this variable is sapna so that is sapna publisher suppose uh, if we want to uh, assign or give 
integer type of values then here directly we can use assignment statement with assignment operator 2016 we are assigning to this variable that is engineering book dot addition so in which year or in which year that book was published or printed that is addition okay, next price price is also integer type of data so here this price for example 250 is assigned to this variable engineering book dot price in the next class we will see size of structures